Hi guys, it's your girl Pam here from Initial PLV and if you can't tell by the title already, this video is going to be my hospital bag video and it's been a highly requested video to film for you guys and I'm so sorry if I have lagged it or if I've been keeping you guys waiting. I'm finally on it for you guys. The reason why I actually have been holding it off is because Song and I, we've been having a hard time trying to figure out what to bring and things that we should bring for baby, what to bring for her outfit back home. So it's been a lot of thinking. It's a lot of work. My sister actually already purchased me a diaper bag. So the bag that I'm showing you today is just going to be kind of like a small duffel bag that I stuffed everything in there. It's going to be babies, mine, and songs. Um, I think once I get the diaper bag, I think I'm going to take all of her stuff out and put it in her own diaper bag. That way it's just it's going to be easier to find and just condense when we get to the hospital. Let's just get right into it. It's this huge black patent bag. I don't remember where I got it. And it's got zippers right in the front here, which I have all my toiletry stuff, which I'll show you guys. And it has a, a zipper in the back. And it's heavy, guys. So I'm going to show you guys the toiletry stuff that I got first or that I um, packed for... Us. I know the hospitals will have shampoo, toothpaste, toothbrushes, and all those goodies, but I've worked in the hospital before. I've worked in the women and newborns department, the pediatrics, and the NICU departments, and I've kind of seen their toiletry stuff, and they're not the greatest, and I don't expect to have like a five-star graded, you know, shampoo, toothpaste, and everything like that, but I just feel more comfortable bringing my own things and using my own stuff that I'm more familiar with. So I did pack a few things that Song and I use and I'm just gonna pull whatever is here. In my toiletry zipper, I am bringing our own shampoo and conditioner. I know, you guys are probably like, girl, you are crazy, they have this. And I just think it's easier. I think I should have probably packed like travel sizes, but I know we're gonna be there for two days at least, if not three and um, I just packed full-size shampoo conditioners. This is the Pantene Nature Fusion with Avocado Oil Shampoo and Conditioner. I love this stuff, and it smells so good, guys. Mm. If you guys have used this, let me know if you guys like it just as much as I do. It's just so moisturizing, and it keeps my hair very fresh all day. So I packed this for us. And then I also packed my favorite lotion at the moment. This is the Jergens Ultra Healing and Nourishing Lotion. And this is for extra dry skin. I've been using this all over my body as a stretch mark cream or just to moisturize my body. And it's been keeping my skin pretty moisturized throughout the day. So I am bringing this. And the good thing about this one in particular is it doesn't have a strong fragrance. And it's actually... Um, better if you don't bring any perfume or fragranced lotions especially because you'll have baby with you and you definitely don't want baby to be inhaling all those perfumes and lotions so i am bringing this one and then i brought us some toothbrushes these are the oral b healthy clean toothbrushes one for her one for him and um i just thought this would be nice to have our own toothbrushes i don't like the hospital ones they're just so I don't know, I just don't like them, so I'm packing my own. I packed us some deodorant. This is mine, of course. This is the Lady Speed Stick and his, the Old Spice. So I just thought this would be very convenient, just very simple things. And I am planning to bring my own um, Simple Essentials makeup bag. I was actually going to include that in my hospital bag today, but I didn't think it was necessary. I don't know if I didn't know if you guys really wanted to see that, but. Um, I was just going to bring just my makeup essentials like makeup powder, concealer, and then just mascara and a little bit of bronzer or blush. And that would be my complete look at the hospital because I don't want to be, um, you know, I know I'm not going to have time to be taking an hour on my makeup. And then other things like his eye contact solution that will be packed later. And with our cell phone charges that will be packed later in our laptops. So. Um, that is set in stone for our toiletry and let's just get right into the clothing what I packed for baby first and um, I didn't know really what to pack for baby just because I felt like I was overpacking and I 
Of course, asked experienced mothers out there and they say don't really need anything because hospitals provide most of it. And like I told you guys earlier, I've worked in the department with babies before and I've seen their selection for baby clothes and it's very few. They usually have babies in um, the swaddle blankets, which is totally fine. But I think for me, I want my newborn in her onesies. So I did bring a few and I'll show you guys here. But FYI, if you guys are like me who just wants baby in your own clothes, don't feel like you can't bring it just because it's a hospital. They do provide it if you want less things to bring with you. It's really up to you and it's preference. I did bring her two receiving blankets and this one is just kind of like a chevron print here. Pink and white. I got this um, during my baby shower. And then I brought a second one. I packed a second receiving blanket and this one is pink with polka dots, white polka dots. I don't know if you guys can see here, but I know they do provide socks according to a lot of moms that I've that I've asked. Um, but I did bring my own socks for baby just in case I want her in her own little socks. So I got her these cute little stripy socks and they're so cute and tiny. Every time Song sees these, he's just like so in awe because it's so cute. So I will be bringing these for her. And I have a second set, and these are just plain white ones with a birdie. If you fold it over, there's a birdie or a little chick on the socks here. It's so adorable. So I just brought her two pairs just in case I feel like the hospital doesn't have it or um, if I just want to change her into her own socks. A few of the mommies that I did ask did say that they don't really, uh, most hospitals don't provide mittens. I'm not sure in that, um, do quote on me, but I know it kind of depends on, you know, which hospital you go to, but I brought her two little pairs of mittens, just plain white ones, and this one has little mini giraffes. Oh my gosh, they're so, so cute. Let me zoom in for you guys. How cute are these little mini giraffes, right? Oh my gosh, I'm just so in love with these. And the second set is seam white ones, except these have little turtle prints on it. Oh my gosh, so adorable. So um, she'll have these two for her. And then moving forward to her clothes, I did pack her three little mini hats and these caps I got during my baby shower. I'm not sure where they got it, but I absolutely love this one. I just love anything pink for baby girls. I think it's just so girly and just so cute. This one in particular is my favorite, and I think once you fold it over, it'll fit baby's head perfectly. So I just love it. It's so adorable. I packed her that. I packed her this little mini cap with this cute print. And a third one, just a very plain, simple one with a bow right on the right corner of the head here of a hat. And then moving to clothes, I brought her a few onesies. And the first onesie is this cute little monkey one. Oh my gosh. I literally fell in love with all of the clothes that she got during her baby shower. Then this one says, I love mommy. And I thought this one was super, super adorable. Just very plain, simple onesies so she can change in and out of because I know a lot of um, nurses when I worked in the departments, they do recommend moms to not bring the ones with the footies, the onesies with the footies because babies get, um, they get these like little poking shots at the hospital just for testings and stuff like that. And it's just a pain having to switch baby in and out of her outfits. And then the last two outfits, I'm still debating which one to put her in. On her way home, I was planning this little onesie here, this cute little print with um, the long sleeves, paired up with these cute little pants, and this one has a little cute bunny in the back here, and aren't these like the cutest pants ever? Oh my gosh, I'm so in love with these, and I just can't wait to see her. So either this outfit or this one that her daddy picked out for her. It's just a plain white one. It's a little washed out in the camera, but it's got a giraffe, a little baby chick, and an elephant print right here. And her daddy wants her to be in this one on her way home. So I think we might put her in this one. I just packed two um, 
fleece blankets. This one I got from TJ Maxx, I don't know, a few months ago. So it's a pink polka dotted one and her little sweet elephant one here. So I'm going to bring these just in case, um, just to cover up her car seat. We do have a car seat cover, but I think it'll be best if we have her covered with one. Moving on to me, I just packed a simple black um, robe because I know uh, moms get checked up pretty often at the hospital after uh, delivery and it's just easy to be in and out and just to monitor, take your blood pressure and everything like that, just to have the robe easy, just like easy access, I guess. <laughs> um, I just packed a black robe and then I just also packed two um, simple tanks and I just brought a pair of pajamas or pajamas. On my way back home, I'm just going to wear a tank top with my black leggings and a oversized sweater just to keep me warm and I'm sure I'm going to still have a belly so this will keep me warm, nice and cozy. I also packed some spandex panties um, that go all the way up to like your boobage area just to keep my tummy, you know, in place and then of course I packed some bras. I'm trying to invest in some breastfeeding bras just because I'm planning to breastfeed with baby girl and uh, it'll just be easier if I have a bra that can clip on and off. So I'm still in the search of some pretty good, decent price ones. If you guys know any place that sells pretty good, decent price ones and quality ones, let me know in the info box below or in the comment box below. And then for Song, it's just very simple. He likes to wear simple um, sportswear when, <laughs> especially at the hospital, I don't want him to be like all dressed up and fancy. So I just packed him his favorite um, workout pants lounging pants and some basic v-necks and that's pretty much it guys i think we are ready i will be putting the hospital bag by the door just in case anytime song and i are out um i'll make sure to bring our hospital bag with us and let me know if i forgot anything important in my hospital bag or let me know if i'm overpacking, or let me know what you guys packed in your hospital bag because I enjoy watching these videos, especially for us first time mommies, because we don't know anything. This is our first time and um, I would just love to hear your experience and what you guys packed for your first baby. Um, and I would just love to hear your feedback. I've been so grateful to have all of you guys as you know, my number one supporters. It's been such a great journey with you guys and to share this with you guys. Um, you guys don't know how much it means to me and song and baby. And I just can't wait to share this with her when she's older. And um, I'm so glad I took on this journey with you guys. Um, just sharing our my daily vlogs with you guys every Friday. And um, it really means a lot to me. And I love you guys for that. So thank you so much. And I guess we will end the video, and I will see you guys very soon. Alrighty, bye.